In this video, we'll prepare a full week four cash lineup on the main slate on Yahoo. And it's coming up next. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Lee with the Fantasy Football Consultants. Hope you're enjoying this bonus Yahoo coverage. And if I can ask a quick favor, if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that red subscriber button. It's the best way to let us know that you appreciate this Yahoo content. Plus, when we do this bonus Yahoo coverage, you'll more likely see it on your feed and you can guarantee it if you hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we release a video. Now, if you are already subscribed, we really will ask, first of all, like to thank you for being a subscriber and ask if you can take that extra step of sharing our video with a family or a friend or even post to your social media accounts this video by hitting the share button below. All right, everybody, let's get into the studio and prepare a week four cash lineup on Yahoo. All right, we're on the week four slate and similar to other slates on Yahoo, we're looking for those good bargains, great value players, and then when we can strike, will pay up for the premium guys. So let's start at running back. And we see some of the uh, usual suspects that are really uh, expensive, but I'm gonna go a different route. I'm gonna pick two running backs who are home, who are favored, who are goal line backs, who get involved in the passing game. Yet I can save some money and they're playing against two defenses that are poor against the rush. Who am I talking about? At $29, let's get Saquon Barkley. This guy, uh, week in, week out this year, has been getting plenty of touches, 24, 24, and 18. And he's going to get a game script, like I said, as a home favorite against a bad Chicago defense. Love this for $29, but not as much as I love the next option because he's even cheaper at $23. Austin Eckler. Boy, you might say, but Eric, the guy didn't do well last week. He only got five yards rushing. Well, that was because the game script got completely out of control. They had several turnovers early. Uh, Justin Herbert was not himself, and they were in passing mode almost the entire time. He still got eight uh, receptions. So he, wasn't get, he obviously does not get phased out of the game, but he's not going to get that rushing potential, and he didn't get any touchdowns. Now, completely different story this week where the game script should be in his favor as six-and-a-half-point favorites at Houston, a Houston team that just gave up to a backup running back, uh, Khalil Herbert, uh, 100 and 57 yards on the ground. So this could be a huge game for uh, Austin Eckler. Love him at only $23. All right, so let's move on to wide receiver. And I'm really surprised. I mean, if you take Yahoo's $200 price budget, divide that by nine players, that's an average of a little over $22 uh, per person. It's unbelievable to me that Austin Eckler and this guy at only $21 is actually below the average when you put them together. Uh, how about the star wide receiver of the Dallas Cowboys, C.D. Lamb? Uh, Michael Gallup may be back, which I actually think can only help C.D. Lamb. He's still going to be the number one wide receiver, but the defenses will have to pay more attention if Gallup is in the lineup. And he faces a Washington defense that cannot stop anybody this year. So I know he's got a backup quarterback, Cooper Rush, but it doesn't matter whether it's Prescott or it's Rush at quarterback. All Lamb gets is targets. At least 11 targets in every game so far this year. I am uh, happy at only $21 to get Lamb in the lineup. Now, I am going to look out for some bargains here for the last 
two wide receiver spots. And at $15, I'm happy to get Romeo Dobbs in the lineup. So let's be clear that um, Sammy Watkins is now on the IR. So uh, Dobbs is absolutely the starting wide receiver alongside Alan Lazard. And he was rewarded heavily last week, getting eight receptions on uh, on all eight of his targets. I do think that Aaron Rodgers is gaining confidence in him, which is so important as he's trying to figure out who are guys that he can particularly rely on. So love the implied total of Green Bay here against New England. Dobbs, $15, pretty easy for him to pay off. And we're also going to save some money. I don't understand what the heck Yahoo is is thinking. Can someone explain it to me? <laughs> Why is Greg Dortch only $12? Now, I do know that Rondell Moore might come back in this game. But remember, still suspended is DeAndre Hopkins. And A.J. Green, who Dortch has passed in the depth chart, is likely not going to play in this particular game. So I I think that once again, he's had nine targets, four targets, 10 targets, getting a high number of receptions off these targets, uh, that he is going to be featured again here against Carolina. And $12? Man, $12. You can't get lunch anywhere these days for $12, let alone a quality wide receiver on Yahoo. So. Sign me up for Greg Dortch. All right. Because we were economical with Dobbs and Dortch, we can go cuckoo crazy at tight end. And you guys know what that means. It's Mark Andrews. Uh, The highest scoring game, the shootout everyone expects, is Buffalo and Baltimore. And I want some exposure on both sides of those games. And probably the best the, the, the best target always for for Lamar Jackson is his safety valve, Mark Andrews, especially when they get around the goal line. He's had two huge games the last two weeks. So let's get Andrews in our lineup. And why not just spoil it now? What we're going to do is we want to get someone on the Buffalo side of this shootout and there's no better person. Let's just go up, spend the entire 40 bucks. That's the maximum amount on Yahoo for Josh Allen. I mean, he's just an awesome dual threat player in an awesome matchup. They have an implied total of 27 and a half, they being Buffalo, in the highest scoring game on the main slate, 51 and a half points. Man, and it should be a relatively close game in Baltimore, back and forth. I don't think uh, Buffalo is just going to be able to relax halfway through the game. So really excited that I can get Josh Allen in my lineup. I only have 16 bucks to spend on average for my last two players, but one's a defense, and we will pay down a little bit on defense. But I think we can get a pretty darn good one At only $13, how about the New York Giants? A home favorite going up against the Chicago Bears. Oh, my gosh. The Bears have struggled offensively mightily this year. Justin Fields has been quite simply awful. Darnell Mooney is missing in action. He's on a a milk carton right next to Cole Komet, who's basically done nothing. Uh, Their only real strength has been their running game, and it doesn't look like David Montgomery is going to play. Khalil Herbert, their backup back, who did do well in full disclosure last week, uh, will probably take the reins. So I am going to fill my flex position with $19 on an easy pivot play. Yes, I do know I am playing a running back against my defense in the same lineup. I would never suggest you do that in GPP, but this is a cash lineup. It is okay to do that if you really like the value of both of the players, and I do. 
So uh, at $19, I really like what Yahoo has done here, made it easy on us. Because if we look at running back and we scroll down to $19, they've priced David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert at exactly the same price. So if Montgomery is deemed healthy, then we're going to put Montgomery in the last spot. However, if he is out, we can feel pretty confident that they'll do what they did last week, and Khalil Herbert will get all the carries. Please put in the comment section. Let us know what guys in here that you really like, or if there's someone you don't like, tell us who you would pivot to uh, and change out of our lineup. Take a look on your screen now, and you will see when available our DraftKings and FanDuel Week 4 lineups. Until next time, take care, everybody.